them. There's a very f a small number of people who enjoy going out into the gardens and ripping the weeds out of the ground, but most people don't like that at all. So when I saw Turtle, uh, I was, as I said, as a technology scientist, I was amazed by the fact that it was uh, autonomous and uh, energy independent, especially the energy independent. It caught my attention more from a technology standpoint than it did from an environmentalist standpoint. Okay, so forgive yeah. me for that. But my big question is, why people buy turtle? Who are the people that are so interested to buy turtle to within their own garden? I think people buy turtle for, uh, for basically one reason, and that's because uh, weeding is one of the most onerous tasks in gardening. We've talked to a whole bunch of people uh, as we were uh, developing turtle and figuring out exactly what, uh, what to build. And almost all of them, there's a very f a small number of people who enjoy going out into the gardens and ripping the weeds out of the ground, but most people don't like that at all. I started a garden so I could become a, a turtle customer because I wanted to know what the garden experience was like. And I meant to go out and I meant to weed my garden, but you know how that goes, right? You think, well, the weeds are small, they'll wait another week. And after a while, I had a jungle. I didn't have a garden anymore. So it, it's, it's not just how difficult it is to weed. It's also having the diligence to, to do what you know you should do. So we built Turtle to solve that problem. And it really does solve the problem. Uh, and I think that that is, uh, is why people buy Turtle, just so they don't have to weed anymore. And it's reliable and it can go on and on. So uh, yes. how long can it go on before you know, something goes wrong? <laughs> Well, uh, we designed it for a design life of three to five years. That doesn't mean that you can leave it uh, by itself for that long and it'll be fine. There's basically one thing that you have to do. There's a little uh, string trimmer on the bottom of the robot. And uh, just like any string trimmer, after you've used it enough, it wears out. And depending on what kind of soil you have, uh, it'll wear out faster or slower. If you have a lot of rocks uh, in your soil, it'll, uh, it'll wear out faster and you may have to change it once every, every week or so. But barring that, the, uh, the robot just lives outdoors. It, uh, it sits in the sun, it collects energy when it have, has enough energy, it goes uh, patrolling around the garden. Um, and when the battery is depleted enough, it stops. Well, actually at first it looks for a sunny spot and then it stops, charges itself up and it just com uh, continues to do that over and over again all season long. This paradigm that you have, like a robot that is completely solar energy power, um, I haven't found it anywhere um, so far. I think for obvious reasons, the energy needed is higher than what can be accumulated. Yeah. Uh, is there any way that this paradigm could be extended to other type of autonomous vehicles? Well, uh, yes and no. The, the magic is not in anything that we have done in the robot. I haven't come up with some kind of a powertrain or a motor or whatever that's you know, 10 times more efficient than, than other motors. What we did with Turtle was we found an application where the energy needs matched the energy that was available. So I had previously uh, been asked many times, especially when I was working for Harvest Automation, well, why don't you build a robot that's solar powered? And the answer, as you suggest, always was because the energy budget just doesn't work out. The, the robot needs so much energy to work and it only has so much uh, area where it can collect that energy and the area that it can, it can use to collect just isn't enough to, to power all the things that it needs to do. But the reason why it works with Turtle has to do with the size of a, of a typical garden in the United States. And in the US, a typical garden is about 200 square feet or rather 100 square feet. And if the robot runs around for an hour to two hours every day, then it can take care of the weeding uh, in an area that's uh, at least 100 square feet. Actually, I, I said 200 because we recommend turtle for gardens up to 200 square feet in size. So it was a matching of the application with the technology that made it possible to use uh, solar power.